Don't worry about a thing. I'll take care of it. And I know this kind of stuff. Don't mess up. Just smile. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Bruce and Mr. Nolan, you are charged with assault and battery, <laughs> resisting arrest, and destruction of private property. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Oh, guilty, but with a real good excuse. You're going to love it. <laughs> I think everyone here will. I, I, I plead this. <laughs> you, you see, Your Honor, what you have here with Mr. Brewster and myself is a couple of, well, of local heroes, really. We, we play for a, a local team here. You might have seen us, the Hackensack Bulls. Perhaps you know that. Go, you bulls, go. <laughs> Let's not waste the court's time. I have depositions here from over a dozen eyewitnesses. Your Honor, we went into the bar to have a drink, and we saw this nice lady. And we asked her to sit with us to have a drink. I didn't know she had a fiance. Who knew? Did you know? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know either. It wasn't public knowledge. So you were making advances to a woman who was clearly involved with another man. You see, if you don't make calls, you don't make any sales. <laughs> this man does not represent me, Your Honor. I would remove that from the court records. I would. I'm going to set your bail at three thousand uh dollars. -huh. Not bad. We don't have three thousand dollars, Your Honor. We don't. Bailiff, will you remove the prisoner's next case? Jana, oh, wait, please, before you send us to jail. Look, so I have to defend myself. The man hit me first. Hey, I did not have the permission of the court. My name is uh, J.B. Donaldo, and I am representing parties who wish to remain anonymous at this time and who have instructed me to post bail for the defendants or pay any fines levied in case they uh, plead guilty, which I'm sure they will not do. <laughs> Who is he? It's the scout. Okay. I told you they want me. Oh, they want me. We're going to the big house. Everyone wants it. Until now, Monty Brewster didn't have it. They tell me you're my only living brother. But he just made money the old fashioned way. You have 30 days in which to spend 30 million bucks. He inherited it. If you can do it, get 300. But if you fail, don't get deadly. What can I tell my friends? Because I don't want anybody helping me out. What's wrong? What's wrong? Thirty million dollars. I mean, he's got thirty million dollars. This is a good day. He can't keep it unless he can spend it and have nothing left but the shirt on his back. Oh, we're gonna have a, a lot of fun with this kind of money. Jake, I'd like to hire you as my official photographer. Salary ten thousand dollars a week. How would you like to be my personal driver for the next thirty days at five thousand dollars a week? What a country, America, I love it. Hey, everybody, anybody want to go lunch? Everyone thinks he's crazy. I'm $50,000. The rate you're going, you'll have spent your entire inheritance in less than a month, and you'll have nothing to show for it. But $300 million says he's right on the money. Richard Pryor and John Candy. It's like that old saying, you know, if I for money, I'd be a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Brewster's Millions, coming soon from Universal Pictures.